one's vulnerabilities into one's strengths is a part of what a beloved community needs to be about mm -hmm. and to teach us all. And I am profoundly grateful for that. I want to say a couple of other things. One of which is, I have had a conviction for at least 20 years, probably longer than that, but, but at least 20 years, that the support of our seminaries, the support of theological education, is the most important agenda in the life of the church. That, yes, the justice agenda is another really important um, agenda in the life of the church, <clears throat> but the truth is that if we do not have theological education like that here at Andover Newton, which educates the whole person and through which we are allowed to integrate what we have learned in the classrooms into our whole lives in such a way that I cannot discern what did I learn in the classroom? What did I learn from my life experience? What did I learn from pastoring the church in Colchester? What do I learn from being a member of First Church in Windsor and thank you for being here? Um, what have I learned from all of my ministry settings? All of that is integrated in my life. Had I gone to a seminary where it was all cerebral and the top inch of my being, I might not have been able to do that integration. And I believe passionately in the kind of education that Andover Newton provides. I believe specifically in this institution. I believe this institution thriving into the future is one of the most important priorities for all of us. If we do not come to the world's problems with God clearly in our sights, if God is not the root through which we address the world's problems, whether those are justice issues or peace issues or inclusion issues or anything else, it isn't going to work. It isn't going to matter. And it is through this institution and its amazing way of educating the whole person and transforming us and enabling us to minister in remarkable ways um, that we can be a light to the nations um, and be a, a shining light on the top of this hill um, and out in the midst of the world. For me, that's, this is, I'm almost inarticulate about it because it is so important. Um, seminary education is not ancillary to the mission of the church. It is at the heart of the mission of the church. And we must persist in pursuing that, whether it's United Church of Christ or Unitarians or Methodists or American Baptists or Lutherans or whoever. It is crucially important. And the last thing I would say is that I want to invite every single person in this room to join me in being eligible to wear this pin. Um, I'm a member of the Heritage Society of Andover Newton. How many of you know what that is? Some of you do not. <laughs> the Heritage Society is those of us who have included Andover Newton in our wills um, and in our plan giving. If you, like me, believe that the theological education that is provided here at Andover Newton is critical to our world, then I strongly urge you to join me as a member of the Heritage Society. You can leave a specific amount, you can do a planned gift now or later, you can leave a percentage of your um, estate, however you do it. Nothing is more important than this institution, what it stands for, and what it does to transform the lives of people who become ministers in the midst of communities of faith and in the midst of the world, who thereby transform the world in which we live. I wasn't paid to do that. <laughs> But, but I bear that testimony because
because I truly believe it. Um, I wrote an article recently for our local church newsletter in which the title is supposed to come out, I don't know if it will, um, that says, generous equals Christian equals first church in Windsor. And I truly believe that. We are measured by our generosity. And I encourage you in your generosity. And Ever Newton has a generous spirit a truly generous spirit. It's a community of grace um, that has allowed me to evolve and affirmed me through all those evolutions. That's a community of grace. That is a generous spirit. And in response to that, we too are called to be generous. I thank you so much for this award. I still, I'm still sort of stunned um, to be receiving it, and I thank you.